Meet the Dassault Rafale, one of the most distinctive modern fighter jets, undoubtedly, is the Dassault Rafale. Featuring delta wings and close-coupled canards, the Rafale stands apart from the crowd of horizontal elevator-configured jets. Designed in the 1980s for the French armed forces, the Rafale is highly maneuverable. The pairing of the delta wing with the canards allowed for an airframe with exceptional agility, and the capacity to withstand between minus 3.6 grams and 9 grams safely. Actually, the Rafale can handle 11 Gs, although doing so is not advised other than in cases of emergency. In training missions, the Rafale has been observed operating with airspeeds as low as 17 miles per hour. One benefit of being able to operate at such low airspeeds is compatibility with STOBAR configured aircraft carriers. STOBAR carriers have a ski jump system, which helps an aircraft generate enough lift to take off at low airspeeds. Still, to operate from a STOBAR carrier, an airframe needs to be able to take off at low speeds. The Dassault Rafale fits the bill. In training missions, the Rafale has been observed operating with airspeeds as low as 17 miles per hour. One benefit of being able to operate at such low airspeeds is compatibility with STOBAR configured aircraft carriers. STOBAR carriers have a ski jump system, which helps an aircraft generate enough lift to take off at low airspeeds. Still, to operate from a STOBAR carrier, an airframe needs to be able to take off at low speeds. The Dassault Rafale fits the bill. Because the Dassault Rafale is capable of operating from aircraft carriers, the M variant, or Marine variant, was designed with some helpful features. A reinforced undercarriage helps to sustain against the stresses of naval landings, an arrestor hook, and a jump strut nose wheel. For cost preserving reasons, Dassault elected not to craft the Rafale into a full fledged stealth aircraft. However, the Rafale was designed with a reduced radar cross-section RCS. To achieve a reduced RCS, the Rafale was built with a small vertical stabilizer, a reshaped fuselage, and the placement of the engine air inlets beneath the aircraft's wing. Additionally, the Rafale was constructed with composite materials, 70% of the Rafale's surface area is built from composite materials. Surely, other features help reduce the Rafale's RCS, but those features remain classified. Powering the Rafale are two Snecma M88 engines. Each M88 offers 11,000 pounds of thrust in a clean configuration. With afterburners engaged, the M88 delivers 17,000 pounds of thrust. The M88 allows the Rafale to achieve supercruise, or supersonic speeds without afterburners, while also featuring technology that reduces the engine's RCS.